Okay, all the motors, this is your GTA. Let's go for it. Right, hold on a second. I forgot to start my stopwatch. You would have had the fastest time ever of zero seconds. <laughs> that wouldn't have been fair. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. No doubt about it, this car's fast. Okay. You got a time of 3.57.46, which makes it the quickest car so far. There's one more car to go. And that's uh, Trent 445's car. I mean, wow, that's a. Uh, 
That was kind of nerve-wracking. To be honest, this car scared me. <laughs> I mean, that's the reason why you see me get real gun shy on a few turns, because I really had to give a lot of stopping distance. That's because this car's so quick that I'm coming up on a turn so fast, I don't even realize it. And the first time I did it, I, I hit every single guardrail there was. Because this this car just sees me. It's it's faster than all the other cars. And like I say, I had to allow extra stopping distance. Because I'm coming up on curves so fast. Now I've been overcooking the turns and been hitting something. That's the reason why, that's the reason why it was like it seemed like I was stopping before I go to the curve. And that's basically how I had to drive this car. That's the first time I ever had a car from the armor motors that didn't really agree with me. That's what you're saying. Which is not saying the car is bad or anything like that, or it drove bad. Somebody else's hands, they could do better for sure. It's uh, it's above my skill level. It's uh, it's a mo it's an awesome car for sure. It's got the fastest time so far. But so far, uh, Prince of All Saints, this car was the easiest for me to drive. Then Camel Factors, then Walls, and, and then yours will be the, to my opinion, fourth easiest or second hardest. Maybe first hardest, I don't know. It depends on Trent 445's car, which I have not drove yet. But it's, it's, uh, it was difficult for me. But we managed to get her done. We got a really fast time out of it. It just, uh, man, it's, it's, it's really fast. People might be wondering why I don't, uh, you know, hunt for an RPM. To take off in because well, it would be faster that way if I find the perfect RPM and then take off from acceleration with that part well, the reason why I take off at idle is because you know if I take off at idle in every car then it's pretty much even that way and plus I don't get I don't mess up and get any wheel spin unless the car has too much power than what I can handle yeah, Armor Motors, I appreciate your car. You know, I really like it. It's a little difficult for me to drive, but that's not saying that it wasn't set up right. It was just, I'm just saying that uh, it's more machine than I can handle. Thank you.